Roll call. Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. We would like to welcome in a special way all those who are joining us through our various social media platforms. Please stand. The Lord is my light, my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Good afternoon, Father. As we gather together in the presence of the Lord, let us present everything that we are. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, spirit. your spirit. Let us take a moment and ask God for forgiveness. You were sent to, the, to heal the contrary heart. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seen at the right hand of the Father to serve for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need May I your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was proclaimed to you by us, Silvanus and Timothy and me, was not yes and no, but yes has been in him. For however, many are the promises of God, their yes is in him. Therefore, the amen from us also goes through him to God for glory. But the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God. He has also put his seal upon us and given the Spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, gives understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Lord, let your face shine on me. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Lord, let your face shine on me. Steady my footsteps according to your promise and let no iniquity rule over me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let your countenance shine upon your servant 
and teach me your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its taste, with that can be seasoned. It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and trampled under the foot. You are the light of the world. A city set on the mountain cannot be hidden, nor do the light of a lamp and then put it under a basket. It is set on the lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Yet so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. In these days, it's wonderful to have this sunlight, you no? Know? Especially as we come into summer, we see how the days are longer and we have more light. And through this light, we can do a lot of things. And it's easy to see many things. And that, if you think about it, when we are in a relationship with God, He is the light. He always shines upon us. He always looking for us and try to show us what is good. And that's the reason, as the first reading said, we need to say yes to God in every single thing we do, in everything that we think and, and we want to do. Because God invites us to be the light in the world. And you know, there are so many things happening right now in our, in our world. And sometimes we see a lot of darkness around us. And that's the reason God invites us to, as a Christians, to remind ourselves that we need to be the light to others. With that, as the Gospel says, with our good deeds, how we act, how we interact with others, we need to be the light. We need to show that God is present in our lives. As every day as we wake up, as we say thanks to God for our lives. Also, God invites us to say yes to be commitment to do our best. To show how God is present. To show how God guides us. How God supports us. That's the reason always God is willing to say yes to us. Willing to always to be with us. But also invite us and encourage us to be a light, to be the light of others, to be the light in our society, with our good actions, with our good deeds. We need to be a Christians that show to others what is to be with God. And we know that as we be with God, everything else that's around us is much better. We can see much better as we see how important is the light in our, in our lives, how important is God to be always with us. And that's reason invite us, each one of us, to shine and to, to show to others the goodness of God.
With humble and sincere hearts, let us bring before God our prayers and petitions for ourselves and for the world. For the church throughout the world, may the Spirit continue to enkindle your hearts with the light of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who govern, may God graciously fill them with wisdom, understanding, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who care for family members with Alzheimer's or dementia, may the Lord strengthen and support them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions to have participated in the special cathedral candle program, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have departed from this life, especially Roran Seidler, may the Lord and all the angels and saints welcome them into the joy of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us put our petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving eternal God, we give you thanks for hearing our prayers and trust that you will answer them according to your divine will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty, Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy, holy church. church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that we offer may be acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It's really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we wait with hope. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you, and without end we acclaim. Yeah. 
Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Made holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down this Spirit upon the light of all, so that may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, who is our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light you face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have blessed through all the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give you us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. And grace your grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, you say to our pastors, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but at the faith of the, of the church. In grace we grant her peace and unity, accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray for all the people who are affected for this pandemic, especially the sick and the people who lost uh, a member of the family. Let us ask our mother to protect us and guide us and this time, especially that as things going better, there can be without this pandemic. 
Let us pray to our mother. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the angels, angels and, and mother, mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved, beloved children. children. We, we ask, ask you to intercede for us with your son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Cana. Pray, pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for our families and loved ones, loved ones the, protection the protection of your holy angels, angels that we may be spared the worst of this worst illness. illness, for those who are already afflicted. afflicted. We ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Heal the Christ, those who are vulnerable and fearful. Lord, wait to your tears and help them trust. This time, prior to our testing, teach us all of us to trust the Lord one another and to be patient in time. Amen. 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 Help us to be more than the peace of Jesus to our lives and our hearts. Amen. 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 Shelter us from the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Before the final blessing, let us continue to, to pray for one another, that God always help us to be that light to others. And uh, as a good Christians, let us do a good deed today. And I, I think that if we pray or do something for others, we can bring this light of Christ, this light of God, to one another. And we know that as we bring this light to the darkness in our society, we can live better and more in peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a wonderful day, everybody. You Goodbye. too, Father. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, this is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before They may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Please be seated. If you would like to give a donation today to the cathedral, I invite you to please place your donation in the baskets located by the exit. We thank you all for your generosity. Please remain seated until the ushers get to your pew to give you directions to exit. Have a wonderful day.